defense and particularly Malcolm that there was a little extra juice to be going up against Cat and you know him being the leading scorer and all. That. Yeah, I think Malcolm especially takes stuff like that personal. Um, I mean, I think we all took this game pretty personal, especially coming off of that after that loss and. Um, he, he stepped up for us big time tonight, and uh, when he starts it off strong like that, we can just follow behind him. Um, I, re- I didn't really have too much time to look at the Duke game, um, but I was just looking at a lot of defensive stuff and. Um, but I, I really didn't look at too much at my selection of shots and stuff like that. But I was just taking what the defense gave me tonight, and uh, I just had some open threes, and I was just playing more aggressive. Um, and obviously, I wanted to do that. So, Jeff. Isaiah, 13 rebounds for you tonight, four more than your previous career high. You do anything different? Got a little greedy in there, didn't you? <laughs> um, I'm just trying to be all over the place. I feel like that helps the team a lot, uh, getting extra possessions, you know, finishing possessions, um, and pretty much just running around, trying not to get hit. So uh, <laughs> that's all it is. For, for both of you guys, how did you guys put that Duke thing just behind you? Playing, playing quickly. I mean, having a quick turnaround is definitely a help. Uh, we can't sit around and uh, think about that too much. We got to get ready for the next game. Uh, that was that was the, probably the best thing that, we, that can come out after the Duke game is to be able to play again uh, today. So uh, we got that bad taste out of our mouth and we're just ready to move on. So yeah, like uh, like Lynn said, this is a, a really deep league, um, and we had a quick turnaround, which I feel like was good for us too. Uh, and we just had to come out and play harder now because this is a really skilled team, really talented team. Defensively, we've been taking steps forward, uh, I think, every single game. Um, obviously, with the loss, we, we felt like we still needed to do, do some things differently. Um, but every single game, we want to take a step forward because we know it's getting closer to March, getting closer to postseason. And we want to start playing our best ball. And I, I feel like we're starting to get into that stride. And uh, we just want to keep playing with confidence and keep playing hard. So, um, I feel like uh, yeah, we're playing a lot of versatile teams. And things like that, you know, going on, uh, we play a couple more teams in ACC, and then it's time for the tournament. Um, and we try to take it one game at a time, at a time, and learn from um, learn from things like this game, but also learn from the past, and try to put ourselves in situations where we can um, always uh, develop. London, they go six for six to start the game. What do you think of during that stretch? Uh, <laughs> um, to uh, yeah, we just needed to stop. Really, uh, we we weren't we weren't playing too well. Uh, we, our post trap defense wasn't wasn't really effective. Uh, we kind of let them get the ball to the other post after they post trapped, and um, I was a little bit on the guards. But it, it was tough. They were they were shooting the ball extremely well. We knew that it wasn't going to happen throughout the whole game, uh, and so we just wanted to keep playing hard. Uh, we just keep playing hard defense. So. Over here to the left. Did you guys know that Justin was coming tonight, and was it kind of fun to have him there courtside? Uh, yeah, we knew he came to practice yesterday. Uh, we knew he was going to be there, and uh, obviously he brings hype. Uh, he has his uh, three years that he plays here, so to be able to bring that extra fire for us is always a huge help. And, um, and we love that guy. We we're very happy that he was here. You can hear him on the sidelines too, in your ear and things like that. So yeah, it's good to have him back. Obviously, a tough matchup for Anthony Knight, Anthony Knight because of their size. But our team's doing things to take him away and keep him off the free throw line. And what can you guys do to to get Anthony going in games like tonight? Um, as a as a, another big, I feel like it's my job to try to give him the ball or you know score in space where um, where I can take some pressure off of him so he can get his one on one game or some stuff like that. Uh, <clears throat> Ag's a really really good basketball player, really good offensive player, and um, you know when he gets going, he's hard to stop. So you know teams are throwing different things at him. Some teams are trapping him, fronting him, and things like that. So just try to give him the ball when we can and let him work. Uh, they're, they're playing pretty well defensively on him. Uh, we play some teams that. Are, they're playing physical with him. Um, but we have some other guys that's been stepping up for him. Uh, Isaiah's been playing huge. Um, Toby has been playing huge as well. And um, at some point, they're going to have to figure out, they're going to have to pick your poison with, uh, with our team. And um, I feel like it, they'll, let, they'll, they'll let off on AG for a little bit. But he's playing extremely well still. I mean, he may not be scoring as much, but he's still doing some things for us. So um, outside of scoring, he's still playing really well for us.